Yo, right now, with Ricks from Northwest London. Right now, we're in South Kilburn. Wordsworth House. Big shit used to go on down here, you know. Look, they all got fucking passports and all that shit. Look, that's how you know the block, you know. Come, we used to keep up big fuckeries in here, big robberies, big drug deals, big money, big money off this block right here, big money off this block, you know. The block's dead right now. You know what? See, back in the days, you think you'll come here and see the block dead like this? Be like 20 man down there, be like 10, 20 man down there. Like may, mainly Justo will be down there. This is like Justo's bit here. And you might have seen Justo and CBs there record their in whatever it was they done here, you get me? Their documentary to, to be precise. Tell you a little story about me and Biz. You see right there, that spot there, that wall there? And one time fucking. One of the man them must have used my, my, my drug name, innit? And fucking clap one of his cells, innit? But he used my name, so he's gone mad thinking that it's me, innit? Like, what are you taking myself for? But I'm thinking, what the fuck are you talking about? Two things, me and him's arguing. Boom, he's come fly back on the block. <laughs> me and him's arguing right there, innit? Then fucking, my man who used my name, he was standing there. But he's trying to get in between me and him from arguing, innit? So I must have kind of like poked him, not poked him, but poked him, innit? I did poke him, fuck it. I poked him. Then obviously he's got mad and he's got his phone in his hand. He's trying to swing it at me, innit? But it missed me and it licked my man that used my name, Bossy's Eye. I know you remember that, biz. <laughs> Never used to be no windows here. You'd be able to see down and chat to each other, you get me? This is where I went, Joe. This block here. Right here, this spot here. This spot here sent me jail. My first jail sentence. So when you saw me and Spray on the RTM show talking about that jail sentence because of this spot here. Undercover police officer sending them big guns and all them things there, you get me? The man them drew me and some idiot thing, but it done, no? Done my little bird and all them things there, you get me? Yeah, that bird was a bit fucked up still. Man them tried to call me a snitch and shit, you get me? You know me, blood. Come back on my block. The minute I come out of jail, I came on my block. I'd be like, what the fuck niggas talking about? You get me? Come, come, go down. Man, I try to say I snitch on my block. Are you fucking crazy? Oh. Crazy? If I snitch, I just, the whole block would have been in jail right now. You get me? But we cleared that all up. You get me? That all got cleared up. Shout out Justo on that. Get me? Cleared it up because before I went in Justo's house, I said, you calling me a snitch? Fuck my cause there, you get me? I said, before I go back into your mum's house, we've got a fight. I slapped him in the face, boxed him, boom! Gotta lie, fuck me up for it though. But, you get me? Other things happen because of that as well, but shout out Kaney. <laughs> South Kilburn, you know. Rest in peace, Tank, man. Get me. A lot of shit changed because of him out here. I can't even lie. That's when out here became a war zone. Came madness. Get me. Then over there, you got Mozart. But B Mozart, man, used to be over here. B man from all over used to be over here. Northwest London, they would come in and see me trap on this block. This block used to make beer money, I can't lie still. Like anyone could just come here and make money. That's what used to go on here. But before that, it was actually like my oldest, them Grim and Ducky, they used to control it, you get me? And they used to control Mozart as well. So we used to be like backwards and forwards in Mozart, like it was, a, it was like a one block, you get me? And then my oldest, them from Housing and that, they come here. Them man, they, they took over that. But they took over this block, I ain't even gonna lie. Like some proper movie American shit, like come kidnap, kidnap the block. See, like, all day, that spot right there, and that shootouts right there. 
for the man them know I have shootouts starts on Marvin Road. So I always to keep up, keep up beer fuckies on this block. See all this block here? I used to rob beer man, kidnap beer man, yellow tapes all over the fucking place. I was a nuisance out here. I ain't even gonna lie. Got to the point like even my oldest then was trying to tell the man them to kill me and shit like that. I was keeping up with beer fuckies and... When you keep up with beer fuckies, people start moving funny with you after a while. You know, like they start being iffy about you. You be un too unpredictable, you get me? So, you know how it goes. Come come off the block. I remember one time on my birthday, right there, me and my bridge and Tubby sitting in the bimmer. Right there as well, sitting in the bimmer. And then some fucking, we got a phone call. Yo, there's some ops around, well, you lot call them ops, but pagans, whatever, driving around with ballys on looking for man, innit? This is on my birthday, you know? Blood, believe it or not. Man parked up, the cut the fucking car has pulled up behind us. But then like my oldest and them from, from Stonebridge, they come out, you know, like to celebrate my birthday, come through with like alcohol and all them thing there. And then the car pulled up on them and like shot them up in it. It's on my birthday and I fucked up. And I'm a shit I've been through out here. This never used to be here before. All of this shit here. You can just roll in on the block. Come. None of this shit used to be here. There used to be like a little, a little fucking fence thing, little fence thing there, innit? And everyone used to like chill right there, innit? And we call this little block. We call it little block because a mini man in them, innit? New block, mini, yeah, new block, whatever they call it. I used to call it little block to be raw as well. But new block. This block called D block. Shosky called it that still. I can't even lie. Shosky ripped something on the side, D block. And then true, the man them used to listen to Beer Styles P and D block and all that in time there. The man them just called this D block. Mini man in them. We used to have to run them off the block because them man they would be like outside here MC and you know like back in the days and MC used to be like nah, 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 nah. I said like, come off the block with all your loud noise so they come over here and then man they used to control this block here obviously now you see big music videos of like big man all over the gaff and it's a bit different now you get me money up wall so the man then would be chilling, playing their money up. I used to, I had done some graffiti and all that here before, first time, you get me? All the man them was like LR, FAC, PB. That was the main things them around here, them time there, innit? And then as time went on, you got ER, you got MMF, you get me? And now there's something new, KC, Kill, Killy Cartel. Now look at my guy, a -Bot's thing. He fucks up around here still. Leave some good messages and all them things there. Shout out A-Bots and Post. This looks like a post. It's Post, isn't it? Yeah, this is Post. Yeah, Post. The man is big graffiti artists. And now, eh, this is niche. This is, our, this is our local shop, you get me? I don't know why it closed down. You know what? I feel like because the man name's not really out here right now, so... Why well, might have closed down? The man who spent beer money in there. Everyone know the solicitors. Shout out MTC. Get me. I get the solicitors in there. So yeah, this is South Killy blood. Got Blake Court over there. It's where Justo used to live. Dickens house, that's where I grow. My brethren's dad used to live in the Berg Chavane. My brethren Lickle man, he's from the other side, precinct. He kind of bring me around there still. That's where his uncle used to live. His uncle was a top dog around there back in the days. And I used to live over there. Come through here, look. I used to live around here as well. I used to live over there, yeah? But they fucking... Obviously, my, my block was like this big tall block here, but they knocked them down. It was called Fielding House, innit? And Bronte House there. Me and Mini Man used to live in there. Yeah, me and Mini used to live in this. This is it. Let's keep up. I have beer fights out here. 
be in fights, watch out for the police, you get me? I remember one time, yeah, all the men must have been standing here. And I must have been around there, at the back of, um, the back of that block there, Blake Court. Coming through, hitting my cell, and then some fucking, some two youths, but we're cool with them now, but we didn't know them them time there, innit? Must have been screwing me, innit? Can't screw me on my block, are you fucking mad? So I've come through, I'm thinking, should I just go get some machine and just rinse them up in the block, over there? No cameras, nothing. It's get me, man, because I got... Well, anyway. Come through, got the man them. But I was thinking, which one of the man them should I pick? So I was walking through, thinking, who's the fighter? So I said, yo, I see Justo. Like, yo, come Justo. Went round here. Fuck them up. Me and him together. This is South Kilburn, man. This is it, man. I'm glad I don't live round here no more. You get me? I can't lie. Ain't nothing good round here no more. I'm kind of glad I don't even see the man them out here no more. Cause you know what? It's just big trouble if the man them's out here. You get me? I'm glad the man them's gone doing different things with themselves. You get me? At least keeping away from this piece of fucking shit. You get me? What's around here? Come, can we go somewhere else? Lock that up. I'm bringing some more bits in SK. Look. Show you a next story about me and Busy. Yeah? I remember one time we was in this block here, yeah, and fuck him. I was hitting the cell, innit? But the cell came short money, innit? And then fucking... And he owed me some money as well, innit? <coughs> so, let me show you. Come, 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 come. Hey, that's the Marriott Centre. That used to be our youth centre right there. Shut it down. So, boom. Yeah, I was fucking... I can't, can we get in there? Nah, it's all locked. We're standing on the stairway, but I'm standing upwards, innit? Busy standing there. The cell must have owed me some money. I banged the cell, yeah, and I banged myself on it at the same time. F fell off this, knocked myself out and landed on top of the cell. Busy had to pick me up like, come here, blood. <laughs> we used to have beer pit bulls out here as well. You see beer man standing all around here. All we, all day. Come. You'll catch us on our mopeds, doing beer wheelies, motorbikes, all the cars then parked up. Now it's time to shop this block got shooted up. Shout out my dog Blugs, you know. See Blugs dead on the floor right here, my dog. I don't even know. I'm gonna say looking like what the fuck we doing? Yeah, my dog died right here. Right here somewhere. Rest in peace, blogs here now. Come. We should even be around here too long, you get me? Can't lie. But yeah. Now back on Stafford Road. Let me tell you about a story about right here. One time fucking man standing here. Me and my brother nasty. And fucking nines his older brother, Branzino, come just creeping round. I was like, yo, what the fuck you doing here? But obviously he knows man, because obviously he grow man from church road, me and nasty, innit? So he didn't really spaz out or start bucking it straight away. Man can see the big thing in his way, in his fucking jumper though. But he's coming around talking about who's traveling my little brother, boom, 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 talking about nines, innit? The rapper nines. So yeah. But them time they him and my older, they got they got problems, innit? This time my older's Right there in the yard. I know if he saw my older, he would have tried to start squeezing. Not to say he would have killed him, might have missed him, but he don't know. Get me. After he's left, man's gone in there, come. Gone in there, show my older. But yeah. Let's not get too deep into that one there. Even right here, I've been stabbed right here. Been stabbed right here on the floor. Boom. I'm on the floor trying to kick. Saying, yo, don't kill me, you know, yo! What? My man, my man loud me still. I ain't gonna lie, give me a little stab in my bum, you get me? But don't think I didn't throw in some fist, yo. Some hands work got thrown before all of that, though. Don't get it twisted. Man ain't just stabbing me and that's just that, you're mad. This is where all the man them used to par back in the day. Beer cars. 
big cars out here. You get me? I used to have shootouts out here. Right on this spot here. I used to have shootouts. Big shootings are done around this estate. People might say, oh, you're hot for saying that, but the police ain't catching me for shit. Get me? Yeah, had big shootouts out here in this estate. Fucked up this estate. Hot it up. Me and the man them. And then one time, yeah, the, the, the reason why this place got this name, SK, we used, to, we used to have a fest, we had a festival there, Biggest Fish Festival, innit? And then fucking, yeah, and they called the SK Festival, that's how around there got its name, SK, South Kilburn, that's short for it, innit? But this place was D Block, the Blizzard D Block, this is it. When you talk about South Kilburn, this is it. Forget anywhere else, this is, this is it. This is where you see all the videos, all the documentaries, all everything, innit? it? I went, I went born around here, but I made my mark around here. You get me? Made my mark in this bitch. Still making my mark. You get me? Survival of the fitness, motherfucker. Let's go somewhere else now. What impact has your environment had on you? Well, you see me, I'm a product of Northwest London. I'm not just a product of South Kilburn. I grew up in all the states in Northwest London. You get me? Like, literally grew up in all of them. Like, I was here from when my generation in South Kilburn started. You get what I'm saying? So I've been here from the starting of my generation here. I've been in Stonebridge from the starting of that generation's church road. So basically I was there from when the blocks have been getting built up with my generation. You know like when the old lots have disappeared and then my generation is running the thing in it. So I'm a product of that in it. So me, I'm a bit different from North Man in Northwest London. You get me? Cause they're just more segregated to like one ends and all them thing there. You get me? So I was able to float through all the estates. That's why I look at this thing here different than a lot of man, you get me? I find it hard to just war wow, man from estates that I grew up with because of idiot politics, you get what I'm saying? And enough man, they, was got, they got upset with me because of that, you get me? Like, even man on my block here now, they got upset with me because I didn't want to participate in a lot of shit that, in, that involves people that I grew up with, you get what I'm trying to say? And that's the reason why I kind of end up coming to South Kilburn because I was in Church Road and Stonebridge and them man they, my oldest and them, them man they was warring, you get me? They never used to get us involved. And then fucking, my generation started getting involved slowly but surely. And then when I started seeing the man them that's growing up together started warring, it was hard for me because them kind of, it's not no gang thing, no, no SK, no... AT, no CRS or it's none of the, all of that shit. It's just who you are them day day, innit? So when I started seeing like the little groups building up, I said, fuck that. I cut, come up to Kilburn, innit? Up here was nice, everyone was cool, innit? I don't get involved in none of that Northwest London shit. And then, as I said, my oldest and them, they come up here and took over this block, innit? And bring their housing shit up here, innit? So it kind of, you know what I'm saying? That's how South Kilburn ended up being involved in the nonsense, you get what I'm saying? Because of all that shit. So and then obviously all the little clips linking up together and that's what that was. But I used to get crucified for that shit. Man used to hate me for that. What? But as I said, church old man would be out here. You'll catch jazz man and that out here. You get me? You catch stuts and all that. You catch Grover, you catch man from all sorts of ends, press road and you know what I'm trying to say? You'll catch that we always out here. And to see how it all's fucked up, that is the most fucked up thing, you get me? Because it's all like new guys' nonsense, like problems that make the old school guys that are cool with each other segregate and get involved in this nonsense, you get me? A lot of the new guys, they're not even around no more. But the man named that foundation, we're still here, innit? And then we've got, and got like a black cloud over us because of Man, pick up on next man's things or man's bredgings and shit like that, man. Fucked up like that, though, man. That's why I say to all the man them, see all the youth them that you see rolling around their estates and all of that? Ask them first if they got anything to do with it. Don't just pull up on 
little youths, because you see them dressing like, you know, like little gang members and one do them something straight away. Because not everyone's involved. Look, not everyone's around no more. Everybody's busy doing shit. Everyone's got kids. Everyone's got businesses going on. Everyone's got something going on right now. Everyone's trying to achieve shit in life. But obviously, it's fucked for the little youths them that are still here. Like, I got kids that, they roll, they fucking teenagers. A lot of my brethren's kids are teenagers now. I don't want nothing happening to them, because you're going to draw the man them out. Look, if you trouble my kid, I'm coming up, dropping my brethren's kid, I'm coming up. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to do something good for the youth them. I hope this is a message to the youth them, like, listen, you lot. Don't get involved in people's businesses. Stay in your yard. Go get a job. Go chill out with your girlfriend. Go do something else. Chilling out on this block here, like, you know, like on these estates. It's not cool, fam. What are we going to do? End up just killing people or be a victim. You know what I'm saying? You end up being a victim yourself or be in jail and shit like that. Like before, you can't just pull up up here. You get G-checked on the corner right there. You see that corner right there? Man pulling up on you. Like, who you coming to see? Man with either a helmet on or something. Around here is different now. Obviously, it's getting a bit darker, isn't it? Bad man time soon come, in As my dog said, yo, I can kind of cut out of here in a little while. You get me? We might not be on shit. But other people don't look at it like that, innit? They look at man like, rare, you're from there, you part with them man there, and rare, rare, rare. A lot of the time, they even like that. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, man's from here. Man grew up here. But man's not just from here. Man's from northwest London. And I tell everyone, stop getting everyone involved in your shit, bro. I'm going to have to kind of watch out for the cars and all them things. You get me? You never know what's going to pull up. I man don't like that man's lifestyles like that, you get me? Cause man's actually cool, innit? I like fucking around with different people. I like going to different areas. I like to go check man in different ends and all them thing there. But man can't because man would be like, yo, you deal with them man, they, you know what I'm saying? So me and enough man's friendship is a bit funny. Maybe it'll get better as we get older. Cause certain man are turning granddads and all that now in my age, you know what I'm saying? Start of children, you know. I just want all the man them to stop all the fuckies. You got my bread in blugs. Got my bread in tank. You got smalls. You got snatch money. All the, everyone is dying over this. Stop that. Listen, I know I bring you to the block, yeah? But there's more to life than this shit, innit? Get me? We ain't out here. You never catch me out here. Never. Fuck that. Last time I was out here, I was having a video shoot, Skeng's video shoot or whatever the Yardy DJ is, isn't it? Rest in peace, Emlo, you get me? Emlo was out here, that was the last time I saw him. See shit like that, over this gang shit. It gets like that though, you get what I'm saying? But there's more to life than that. I know I've bring you to all the gritty shit. I'm not even trying to make it seem like I'm some old school bad boy. It is what it is. I used to do what I used to do. Man's changed man's life, my life now, helping out the youths them. She's so creepy around here. Man don't even feel good around here. Man feel on edge. So you know what? Can we just cut out of here and then finish off this interview somewhere else? You get me? So can we cut now? Round here, for certain man, it's all about securing a reputation. You absolutely can't show weakness. You can't be seen as a pussy who lets shit slide. If you're nothing without your reputation, then violent revenge can be like salvation and deliverance. If you can't hit the enemy directly, you hit a relative or a friend. Because the thing is you're making a point. You're not doing something that is necessarily final and decisive, something that ends a cycle of violence or a feud. You're sending a message that you're ruthless and nothing is safe. And don't even start to fool yourself that there are any rules to this shit. Here it's all fuck the law, get paper by any means, rob, shoot, trap, spend the profit on some diamond grills for your teeth or an iced out Rolex or whatever. Fuck yell then, bun crow till you zone out, ignore the nitties lurking on the concrete staircases looking half mummified. Live life at a hundred miles an hour and just don't stop to think because you never know which day could be your last. No days off.